All right, we're here in Grocery Outlet. Uh, we're gonna figure out how to shop for nutrition and economics. Um, I'm going to do a basic perimeter of the store, so I make sure to hit up the produce section, the dairy, and all the fresh food sections before I head into the freezer aisles and also the uh, dry goods. So I'll, it'll be a mixture of pictures and videos. Sorry, you gotta listen to me. Here we go. So avocados are one of the foods that's a very healthy um, natural fat and when I'm shopping for avocados I try to find um, price ranges that go from a dollar to a dollar fifty. Uh, these are fairly large avocados and what's unique about them is that because they're a fruit that we eat the inside of, we don't eat the skin, it's okay if these are not raised organically because we're not eating the skin where most of the, pro most of the pesticides wind up. Okay, so in the perimeter when I go food shopping, I start with a perimeter walk and the first place I always go to is the produce section. Um, because we should be filling our diets with the most um, fruits and vegetables as we can, also whole grains to ensure that we're getting adequate nutrition. So me, like you, I have limited time and I want to make sure that I can get some leafy greens while not spending all my time washing them. When we're considering leafy greens, what we're really after is vitamin K, which helps to uh, make sure our blood transports oxygen effectively. Um, when we're eating leafy greens, it's important in general that we choose organic greens because these are often very delicate organisms and they're a favorite target of uh, animal pests. And so farmers have to spray a lot of, or exert a lot of control to raise a healthy crop. So we want to limit our um, exposure by choosing uh, organically grown crops. When considering salad greens, I always try to stay away from iceberg lettuce. Iceberg lettuce, which is the majority of what you get in uh, burgers or, or restaurant salads, is just really not all that nutritious. Um, we want to go for greens that are a little bit bitter, and one of my favorites is arugula. Um, this is a really spicy green, but in small amounts, it's a nice addition to any salad. So, even though there's not a lot of calories to uh, salad greens, ones like arugula can be uh, lots of vitamin C and vitamin A. And at three dollars, that's not a bad price either. Spinach is another um, high-powered, high, highly nutritious green. Spinach is higher in vitamin A less than vitamin C, but also contains significant amounts of iron. This package of butter lettuce is at $2, and if we just look at the package, we're not really getting a lot of value for what we're buying here. When we look at the nutrition labels, we can see that being sweet butter lettuce, this is not nearly as nutritious because it's kind of bland. Um, vitamin A is lower, decent amounts of vitamin K, but iron is lower. We're getting a lot more bang for our dollar when we buy um, packages of, of organic salad greens. Although this is quite a bit of washed chopped kale for you, for three bucks, you want to make sure that um, it is an organic kale because kale is one of the most pesticide sprays um, crops that there is. Personally, I prefer to buy large leafed, whole leafed kales because as soon as you cut the leaves, um, they start to uh, rot faster, and I don't. I hate dry kale, so I always go for full bunches of leaves. Alright, this takes us to the produce aisle, vegetable section, 
And what we're looking at now are mushrooms, which are one of my favorite sources for uh, vitamin D and other micronutrients. Thing is with mushrooms, you want to get the freshest ones you can. And you also want organic mushrooms, and you don't want mushrooms from China because they have all kinds of crazy um, allowances in their regulations. So any North American organic mushrooms are great. When assessing mushrooms, I look for um, any brownishness around the cut stems, and I usually go for whole um, mushrooms because they haven't been cut, so they are going to retain their water. Um, you can eat creminis, you can eat white mushrooms raw, but if you're going to eat portobello mushrooms, they are slightly toxic unless you cook them, so make sure to cook them. With uh, bell peppers, here you have to kind of plan ahead, pick and choose. At this grocery outlet, I have seen these same bell peppers, green bell peppers, for as cheap as 80 cents each. Right now, they're $1.50 each. However, the same price occurs for the reds and yellows, all $1.50 each. Um, sometimes this store will have them as cheap as a dollar each for the red and yellow. Uh, one thing with bell peppers is, as they are greenhouse grown in most cases, um, it, it pays for our health when we can afford it to buy organic. Um, I've got some green onions at home, got some broccoli at home, got the carrots. Um, so with vegetable shopping you have to also think about what's in season because often produce that's in season is going to be uh, cheaper. Good thing we live in California. The squash family of plants, which includes pumpkins and cucumbers and summer squashes, these are, um, these are pretty heavily pesticide, full of pesticides, if conventionally grown, um, because they are so darn delicious. So I usually, I'm going to hold off on, on the squash because I've still got some vegetables at home. Um, but when you buy things in season, and uh, the, the prices of these and the quality of them is, is significantly improved. I've still got a bunch of potatoes in my pantry, so I'm not going to pick any of these up. But at Discount Grocers, man, these things can be dirt cheap. Look at this. Ten pounds of potatoes for $3.50. If you're in college, man, this is, this is two weeks worth of eating. $3.50. All you need is an oven. It is a little bit more important to get organic potatoes when you can because of the amount of pesticides used on that crop. Um, sweet potatoes are another great alternative. Um, they usually have a little bit more nu nutrition in them than, than regular potatoes do. This one doesn't have a nutrition label. Citrus is one of the fruits where you don't have to worry about organic quality as much because once again we don't eat the rinds of the citrus and that's where most of the pesticide sprays end up. Only a few pesticides are taken up into the plant's flesh and tissues. Most of it stays on the rind. So we can save a buck or two by eating um, conventionally grown citrus. All right, so let's look at the deli section, which goes from meats to cheese to yogurts. Here it really pays to shop around. As you can see, this section isn't very big, compared to Rayleigh's or Safeway. So there's less choices, and you gotta hunt and choose. But the thing about this time kind of score is, is everything's always turning over. So one of my favorite companies I just kind of like the taste of, I grew up eating them, is uh, this company of Adele's which makes sausage and other chicken, uh, chicken products. Usually this thing would be like five dollars at um, maybe 550 at Rayleigh's but here we can get it for four. Sandwich meat is kind of a racket because they don't really give you a lot of meat inside the uh, packages and it's kind of expensive and then the organic stuff is really expensive but I usually go with a, a large package and I don't spend, spend my money buying organic here.
Okay, so now we're in a section that a lot of us eat for lunch, um, yogurts. And so what we're going to be looking at here is prices and also the amount of protein to sugar ratio. So here's a 69 cent yogurt that we know has some sugar added into it, but being a Greek yogurt, it's also pretty high in protein. So let's see what it is. We've got 11 grams of protein compared to 12 grams of total sugar. And what I choose when I'm buying yogurts is I try to find the highest protein to least sugar ratio. So these are somewhere close to the realm of candy, but not quite candy yet. What absolutely is candy is conventionally grown sugar flavored yogurts. Let's look at this thing. 23 grams of sugar, seven grams of protein. The second ingredient is it in, in it is boysenberry syrup. This is ridiculous. And for only 30 more cents, you get something with double the protein and half the sugar. Other things I consider, and I've, I've tried this one, it's actually not bad, it's, it's coconut milk yogurt alternative. I stay away from the cashew milk yogurt alternative. The cashew milk was just kind of weird, but um, if we look at the coconut milk alternative, it's really not high in sugars or protein. Instead, what it mostly is is just calories, which we need. But being coconuts, it's just, it's an alternative. And if you've got lactose digesting problems, this is, this is not a bad one. Um, it adds nice creamy textures. You can mix it in with nuts, dried fruit like raisins, uh, shredded coconut. You can put, you can use this as a base and then bring a nice little kit to make your yogurt more delicious. When we're looking at, um, thinking about dairy, we have to think about how the animals that made it were raised, and the best milk we can get comes from grass-fed cows and, and sheeps, because they are out walking around and eating real grass rather than being fed corn, which their digestive systems aren't as well set up to do. Again, at 79 cents, these are grass-fed yogurts, probably high in sugar. Um, but that's an affordable price. If you were to buy something like this at Rayleigh's, you'd be spending $1.25 for something like this. Definitely $1.40, $1.50 for the Chobanis. So to keep cost savings down, I like to buy my yogurt that I eat every day in bigger tubs. I just buy um, whole milk plain yogurt, no additives to it. And if I want to sweeten it up, then I'll put in honey, fruits, and in that way, I can make my own choices. Now, I'm not going to lie. Dannon, four for a dollar, that's cheap. That's cheap. But let's look at what's in it. Dannon creamy yogurt. All right, let's look at what's in this thing. 10 grams of sugar, 4 grams of protein. You want... You want at least a one-to-one -one ratio of protein to sugar with more protein than sugar. So these aren't going to cut it for me, even if they are 25 cents. Oh my god, I love rice puddings. And this company does a good one. I also do nice tapioca puddings too, but this is not food. This is candy. Unfortunately, this is candy. Let's look at it. Oh, 17 grams sugars to 4 grams protein. It does have calcium in it, but this is a food that we should eat sparingly due to the sugar ratio. Let's comparison. We've got 0% fat. Ooh, look at the labeling on this. It's Greek, so we can see that mm, this is going to be lots of protein says it right there, fat-free, guilt-free. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to carry guilt. Okay, let's see here. 17 grams sugar, 11 grams protein. For the same price, we could get 12 grams protein. Or for the same price on that orange one, we got a, a better ratio. And this section of grocery outlet is one of my like treasure hunts because this freezer case often rotates uh, the fruit juices that they have. 
So sometimes I'll find like Odwalla or uh, what's the other brand of Odwalla? Um, like a big container, like one of these for $2.50 and it'll be like a green machine, like 100% fruit juice for $2.50 for the big one. It's insane, but it's, it's not always here. So have a list, know what you need to get and then go exploring. Now, when we're looking at the carrot juice, um, $5 for that much carrot juice is not a bad idea. And we have to treat fruit juices as candy, whereas vegetable juices are, are often much healthier to drink um, due to their lower sugar contents. When we juice a fruit and take all of the fibers out of that uh, fruit, and we're only drinking the juice, we get all of the fructose, but none of the fiber to help our digestive system process all that sugar. So in this reason, we have to treat fruit juices as candy, which not bad in, in small amounts, but we shouldn't be pounding Odwalla's every day. Look at the sugar contents. So let's look at, let's look at carrot juice here. <laughs> oh, never mind. I gotta eat my words. Oh, heck yes. Okay. Um, this is like a Costco price for this product right here. And these are um, one of my favorite uh, chip, chip replacements. They come in different flavors. Caesar, black pepper, wasabi. They come in all different flavors. And they are um, peas. So, so instead of having like a, a little bit of protein, if none at all, like a regular potato chip, Instead, we're getting a snack that's plant-based, five grams of protein, less than a gram of sugar. Let's have some in class. I'll buy this for us. In the eggs section at this store, you, have, you can't bet on having the right kind of eggs that you want. I like to buy eggs with the certified humane label. That ensures that the hens were fed um, adequately uh, vegetarian-based feed, although they should be eating bugs because they should be running around outside. You should research um, poultry egg production and chicken raising if you ever want to scare yourself silly. So I look for stuff with a certified humane um, label, which ensures that the birds have enough space to walk around. Um, and prices like that at Rayleigh's, you'll be buying like a dozen eggs for six fifty. It's ridiculous. Sometimes at this store, I will find certified humane eggs for that same price, two eighty. Usually, I buy eggs at other places. I buy eggs include Costco to get the get the advantage. And eggs keep a really long time in the refrigerator. So sometimes, even though you're one person, you could buy a dozen. If you're two people, why not buy twenty four at a time? When I buy breads, I always choose breads that have more grams of protein than grams of sugar. Whole wheat bread does that trick nicely at four to three, but it can get even better. Let's look at sourdoughs. Here we're using the powers of bacteria to eat up extra sugar and give us more protein. This can go as high as five grams of protein to zero grams of sugar. So sourdough bread is a really good choice. Okay, so I admit I'm addicted to chocolate. Now the key to making chocolate work for you is to go away from Twix. Um, if you can find chocolate, or if you appreciate dark chocolate, at anything above 80% cacao, it becomes more of a food than it does actual chocolate because there's not any added sugars above, or not much added sugars above 80%. Now this at 74%, this one's okay. And what's really okay is the price of these things. Um, so I'm going to get three. So I'm at the end of my perimeter tour, 
and we're gonna look take a look at the cart so far there are this is like my normal shopping um, I haven't bought any meat besides the Adele's uh, chicken burgers because I've got some frozen ground beef at home and also some frozen turkey as well so I don't need many more meats other things that give me protein are the bread the beans the milk the yogurts so I'm ensuring that I get protein in my diet I've got good fats from the avocados fiber and micronutrients from some salad greens um, vegetable vegetable mushroom plant-based vegetable I mean actually fungus they're not plants fruits I love fruits so when we're looking for fruits anything that we eat the skin of we should buy organic as a general rule um, definitely strawberries um, consult the clean 15 and the dirty dozen list but now that we've done perimeter shopping we've got a whole cart full of whole foods now we can go through the aisles and the freezer aisles to pick out the other non-perishable goods that we need but make sure to uh, keep an eye out for low sugar and high protein This is kind of a score in Grocery Outlet. Not a lot of people are eating these things, but I actually kind of like them. They're canned tuna, and if you buy one of these cans with canned tuna and you combine it with a second can of tuna or even another fish like uh, sardines, you can make a tuna salad out of it, and then the tastes of the tandoori or the habanero mint are, are much more manageable in your mouth. So actually, this is a pretty good price. I'm gonna pick up another one of each. Lots of protein. Um, other things to consider is that sardines are awesome. And since they are uh, lower on the ocean's food web, uh, they haven't had the opportunity to concentrate uh, toxins in um, their flesh, like apex predators like tuna fish or salmon would have a higher concentration of pollutants in their flesh because they're higher up on the food chain. All right, so this man is the secret to eating breakfast responsibly. You can have half a cup of oats, make oatmeal out of it, and then you've got five grams of protein, one gram of sugar for dirt cheap. Um, even Actually, this is expensive. Um, you can go to Costco and get like 10 pounds of oats for $10. Um, they have an off-brand here that has been been sold out but I usually buy the off-brand um, but but really the the cost savings of buying in bulk here are huge uh, for plain oats now if you like your sugared sweetener cereals you can even use oats uh, mix it in with the cereals and that way you are prolonging the life of your favorite cereal getting additional protein and saving a buck at the same time so I often cut fancy granolas or if I get a sugary cereal I add this to it, add some fresh fruit, and I'm still um, saving a buck. All right, I'm about to go through checkout, so I want you to make a guess. How much do you think this is gonna cost me? I got food here for me and my wife for 
definitely a week 